Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have two journals I want to share with you. And so I will do a flip through on these little journals. They are blank journals. A lot of the items that I use are from Crafty Me Shop and my stash. So I would like to share these with you. Let's go ahead and start with this one. They come in a muslin bag and they have a snippet paper clip with a charm dangle and you can remove that as well as a little charm dangle and um, a little kind of tassel thing on the side there and that is just pinned to the book so first thing is first so this is a snippet paper clip it is four inch by four inch round and um, I created these little dangles on there added some pretty appliques and bits and it's just on the round um, coaster so those are pretty for decorating or you can add them to your journal itself and then I'm in the muslin bag I have the little journal so this is a blank journal. Um, I let it's all ready for you to decorate and use as you wish. So this is just pinned here to the side, and I have um, pretty pieces dangling here, and some beads, buttons, and some charms. And all of this comes off, and you can use it however you wish. I put a little piece of a tiny snippet roll there and just little bits hanging. So this is the front cover. I use lots of lace, dangles, appliques, and I think it turned out so pretty. In this one, you have a pocket in the top, so you could create a beautiful tag with a nice, beautiful topper, like, um, you know, add some, lace and beautiful trim at the top and then that would kind of stick out over and I think that would be so pretty and then inside um, oh let me show you the back I have decorated the back as well lots of lace and appliques dangle trim and then on the inside I covered the inside with some beautiful laces and then I made a lace pocket here so you can fill that up and then I added some blank pages so there are all sorts of blank pages this um, German um, music paper was a little it needed some extra reinforcement so I just put some lace on there and then here is the bag that flips out you can put goodies in there you can decorate that and I added lots of the uh, stencil coffee dye papers, some book pages. Here is the lace coffee dye papers. I also did some stamped wax paper here. And some tea dyed. And then here is an envelope you can use. You can decorate that. You can cut the top open or the side. You can also use this as a pocket. Some French book page. And I think this is uh, tracing paper and coffee dyed stenciled as well as coffee dyed with the lace and then on the middle here I have these dangles it's a mixture of glass and plastic beads so I just did you know what I thought looked pretty and then you know ready for you to decorate so I pretty much did the difficult part you know I did the outside cover inside covers got all the papers together and then back pocket ha also has a pretty lace pocket 
And this one I kind of left open like this. That way, if you decide that you want a top pocket or a side pocket, you can either just glue this shut or glue that shut. So I wanted to leave that option because um, it's kind of hidden right now and you can't even tell that there is a pocket. Uh, so yeah, I just, so these, uh, the base of these was the Amazon upcycled envelope, you know. So there's the first one and the clip that goes with that. And then this one, and here is the snippet paper clip that goes with that one. And I use appliques and bits and made these dangles and this can come off of the paper clip if you prefer to hang it somewhere else. And then here as well, I have the little dangle part here with charms and beads and lace pieces and a piece of my little snippet roll there. So it's all ready for you to use. I'm gonna open up the muslin bag here and pull out this one. So this one is so cute, it has a big satin bow on the front and I just thought that was so pretty. I got this from uh, Ornate Splendor when she was selling her little bits of fabrics and stuff and she included those in there and I just was like oh I love the bow it's so cute and this beautiful applique here is from the Crafty Me shop as well as lots of the laces and goodies and then here's another I think I showed you that on the outside of the bag. This is very similar. Well, let me show you the back. This one has some more dangles and beautiful applique bits. Okay, this one uh, does not have the pocket at the top. So uh, there's just a pocket on the side here. So this one just has one pocket. And this has a lace pocket here, and similar um, to the other one, I have um, all different papers in here. Envelope. And tracing paper, and all the goodies. And then here are some bead dangles. So pretty. I love those beads and so on and so forth very similar to the other one and the lace pocket here and then this one I left here as a side pocket so there you go guys these two journals will be in my shop so if you're interested you can go check that out thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend talk to you soon bye for now